I quiver inside to think of Saul, God's great Paul, orchestrating the stoning of Stephen. Taking his cue from the ancient books, he thought he was doing God's will. Our religion inflames us with passion to serve our version of God. It is a passion so easily pushed to the dark side. What happens to us when good turns to evil? What evil lurks within that espouses hatred, torture, and murder in the name of God? What sadistic part of our being delights in feeding while justifying that we are cleansing the earth of heresy and making the world a better place for the proclamation of God's kingdom? If one so brilliant and so moral as Saul was so able, are not all of us capable of such and only think not because we have not been in a situation that would trigger such? No wonder Paul wrote, Who will deliver me from me? Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. And Saul came face to face with truth. And he was so changed he could no longer use his old name. He was a new man. With Jesus in his heart, his entire concept of right and wrong was transformed. No longer could he cause pain and suffering in the name of a God of love who himself had suffered so much for us. Paul went from cleanser to restore. And he wrote in Galatians chapter 6, If someone falls into sin, forgivingly restore him, saving your critical comments for yourself. You might be needing forgiveness before the day is out. Stoop down and reach out to those who are oppressed, share their burdens, and so complete Christ's law. And if you think you're too good for that, you are badly deceived. I'm Roger Bothwell.